Hello, and welcome to the Anthropology Daytime Talk Show. I'm Mercedes. Joining us today on the show is Professor Albert, who will talk to us about the scientific method. Professor, please explain to us what you mean by the scientific method. The scientific method is a method of research, originating in the 1850s, in which a problem is identified, relevant data are gathered, a hypothesis is formulated from these data, and the hypothesis is empirically tested. It sounds complicated. It is rigorous, but to be scientific requires this approach and method. Otherwise, it isn't science. Exactly. How does the scientific method work in ethnography? You can't exactly observe people in the lab. Unless you were doing an ethnography of lab workers. <laughs> <laughs> How do you begin? I mean, what do you start with? You can start with a theory. A theory is an explanatory framework that helps us understand why something exists. An effective theory offers an explanatory framework that can be applied to multiple cases. So ethnological theories can be used to explain sociocultural differences and similarities. Correct. And evolutionary theory can be used to explain biological associations. Associations? What do you mean by associations? An association is an observed relationship between two or more measured variables. What's the difference between a theory and an association? A theory is more general, suggesting or implying associations and attempting to explain them. Hold it. Hold it. Wait just one cut and pick a minute. It's Roscoe Road. Where did you come from? Never mind all that. What's all this talk about the scientific method? And who's this guy? This is Professor Albert. Roscoe. What are you doing here? You didn't invite me to be a guest on your talk show, so I decided to invite myself. You weren't invited because you know nothing about the scientific method. And how did you get that stain on your coat? What stain? Oh, that. I think it's from lunch. Anyway, where were we, Professor? We were discussing hypothesis testing. Wait a cotton picking. No, Roscoe. You wait. Ladies and gentlemen, Barack Obama. What are you doing here? I'm the president. I can go anywhere I want. That's not fair. You mean, it's not what you want. Too bad, Roscoe. This is quite a surprise. It has little to do with hypothesis. True. I would bet we could form one if we tried. What is a hypothesis, Professor? I'll answer that. No, you won't. A hypothesis is a suggested but as yet unverified explanation. The explanation must show how and why the thing to be explained, the dependent variable, is associated with, or related to, something else, the predictor variable. Very good. Very good. How do you know all that, Mr. Smarty Pants? My mother, Ann Dunham, was an anthropologist. No kidding. And if you had read the textbook, you would already know that, Mr. Ketchup Stain. What? Oh. In the social sciences, associations are usually stated probabilistically. Two or more variables tend to be related in a predictable way, but we acknowledge that there may be exceptions. Theories suggest patterns, connections, and relationships that may be confirmed by new research. Smarty Pants. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Join us next time when a very special guest talks about culture. I'm Mercedes.